Yeah, Steve Weinberg with the head judge moves Sean Roden next to the champ, Phil Heath. Willie Winkler, of course, on one side, William Bonac on the opposite side. These are, at least for now, the top four bodybuilders in this contest and in the world as they're going to hit the front lap spread. And Sean Ray, I'm going to let you break it down as they go pose for pose. I'm going to, I, I, uh, Sean Roden has the front double bicep. And uh, his front lap spread is not all that impressive. See, the quad sweep is what's going to give Phil the advantage That's in that shot. shot. Yeah, but Phil's relaxed in the midsection just a little bit too much for my liking. He's leaving the door open for these guys, man. And he needs to pay attention to all the aspects of this competition when he's posing. That's one of Phil's shots, that side chest shot. But for Sean's a little light in the pecs. He's very light in the triceps, as you'll notice. Phil's arms are much bigger than Sean Rhodes. So. I'd like to see the camera guys see if they can pull back and get a wider shot so we can see all of them at the same time um, for our viewers. That's exactly the angle we want to see. So it kind of gives everybody at home a better a better perspective of what's happening. The lower back, of course, is strength for Phil. Now, Sean, who wins this pose? Sean Roden or Phil Heath? Phil Heath wins the back double bicep Easily, pose. Sure. But, but Sean's right there. He Sean's doesn't give up a whole lot. It's not the gap that there once was. Sean, Ray, Sean Roden made some significant improvements. And of course, if Sean Roden wins this Olympia, he's going to become the new Sean. So that's a whole other issue that you're going to have to worry about later, Sean Ray. It is the, hey, the, Mr. Olympia and Sean should be synonymous. <laughs> it sounds beautiful to me. But if you're going to give Phil the back shots, you've got to give Sean the front shots. Now we're splitting hairs. Sean's in great shape. He's got the glutes. He's much improved from a year ago. He, he has to reward that as well. Right now, who's looking at the edge for the third spot if you compare William Bonac and Roland Winkler, two very different physiques. I gotta go with Roland Winkler. I mean, I love William Bonac. He's muscular all over, but he looks watery throughout. He looks a little heavy in the midsection. He takes the lines away. This is a big comparison coming up. Steve Weinberger just called the abdominal and thigh shot. Sean Rhodes. In this competition, that's really gonna go a long way, of course. That's Sean Rhodes' pose. Sean doesn't have the separation in the quads, but he has everything he needs. That, that shot right there, his waist disappears. He looks a little uncomfortable hitting that shot, but I'm surprised he didn't hold it longer, and now he's relaxed. He's relaxed. He's relaxed. He's never relaxed. So he was making his money on the quads tonight. That's what's keeping him in that in that group, right? Because Phil Heath when he relaxes his stomach, that's he's the problem. Killing me right the, now. the midsection for Phil Heath is an issue. It's looking different. Um, Sean Roden's midsection is crisp. So that's going to be an area where Sean Roden is really going to score bigger than Jack. And of course, really Winkler, when he hits the most muscular, he's, he's, he's an airplane. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm a fan of Phil. Right now, 